All this rain we've been having lately has sure made the corn grow fast. It's starting to tassel now, and I know that it won't be too long before we're ready to harvest. And if you're going to control corn earworms, you need to understand first a little bit about the way corn grows. Corn's tasseling right now, and those are the male flowers. It won't be long after until it begins to silk, and the silks are the actual pollen tubes that the, the male pollen will fall onto. They'll grow down in that, and each silk attaches to a kernel on an ear of corn. Well, as soon as you start seeing little green silks coming out further down the stalk from the tassel, the corn earworm is aware of it at the same time, and she, as a moth, will start laying eggs on those silks. The eggs will hatch, and the worms will tunnel down in and start feeding on the developing corn. Well, corn earworm eggs will hatch all the way through harvest time, and so to control it, we have to spray for it about every two to three days. The only other alternative is to grow a lot of corn, enough for you and the corn earworms. Now, there are several methods of controlling corn earworm. There are chemical sprays that you can use, such as seven or malathion. Diazinon will also work. Some of these have waiting periods of anywhere from zero to three to five days on them. So read the label accordingly and make sure you don't spray it just before harvest. If you are going to spray for corn earworm, you must start as soon as you see the silks begin to appear. And you need to spray at least every three days. Commercial growers spray every other day to make sure they don't have wormy corn. Now if you're an organic gardener, you can use dye pail, dust, that will work. Also, you might want to try mineral oil. Now, a lot of old timers swear by mineral oil, putting it on the silks in their corn, and they say that drowns the young developing worms. The problem with it is that if you put mineral oil on the silks too soon, it will impede pollination, and you won't have full ears of corn. The time to put the mineral oil on is when the silks turn brown. The downside of that is, though, that corn earworms begin to feed early on, so you'll still have a bit of damage. So if you're going to use mineral oil, at least wait until the silks turn brown. Well, good luck with your corn this year. I hope there's enough for you and the corn earworms.